Hey everybody, how are you doing today? This is Troy with eBuzz Central. Um, we're going to be looking at Garuda Linux today. Uh, and this is one of the most interesting looking Linux desktops as of right now. But I just booted it up into a virtual machine. And if you look, this is the screen you get welcomed with. You can tell that it's got a neon uh, icon set. Let's see what we got here. You got Garuda Assistant, Garuda Settings Manager, Garuda Gamer. Uh, what is Garuda Assistant? Let's open that up. Garuda Assist System Update, Refresh Mirror List, Refresh Key Rings, Remove Orphan Files, Edit Repositories, Clear Package Cache. Okay, so that's pretty nice. Uh, the ButterFS File System, System Components. Okay, it lets you know what you have installed off the bat, but then you can also, I guess, click and add different things or turn the things on. What is that? Yep, that's exactly what you can do. So. Let's go ahead and check that. Check settings, bash fish. Okay, you've got a lot of different ways to definitely adjust this system. So, but let's go ahead and let's close out of that. Let's go uh, Garuda Settings Manager. What is that? Let's look. Okay, we got hardware configuration, the kernel, uh, language packages, user accounts, time and date, keyboard settings, locale settings. This definitely a different looking system. Uh, Garuda Assistant. All right, add and remove software. Let's close that. That is definitely a good looking wallpaper. Do they have any other wallpapers? Configure desktop and wallpaper. Let's open that up and see what we got. Oh, okay, so they got more than just one or two wallpapers. You've got a few. Uh, oh, look at the dragon. Let's go with a dragon. Okay. Well, there you go. Okay, so you can see right off the bat, you do have a top bar. Let's see if you click over there. Yep, it gives you your menu bar. You can go down here to favorites, all applications. For development, you've got an icon browser, QT Assistant, QT Designer, QT Linguist, QT Database. Graphics, you get an ocular out of the box. Internet, you get Fire Dragon Web Browser. I guess that is a spin of Firefox. We'll look at that in a second. The MPV Media Player. Office, you just get Ocular. Settings, add and remove software. Okay, system settings. Let's check out system settings. So it's just your standard looking KDE system settings. You've got hardware configuration, kernel, keyboard settings, language packages, locale, time and date, user accounts, appearance. I wonder what theme this is called. This is called the Sweetified Plasma Theme, and you also have the Sweet Plasma Theme. What's the difference in it? Let's apply it and see what happens. So you got the Sweetified or the Sweet. So it looks like we lost the console icon. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and back up out of this. Okay, it comes with Time Shift pre-installed, and let's open that up. Okay, this is select snapshot type, rsync or btrfs. It's set at rsync. Basically, snapshots are created by creating copies of system files using rsync and hard linking unchanged files from the previous snapshot. All files are copied when first snapshot is created. Subsequent snapshots are incremental. Unchanged files will be hard linked from the previous snapshot if available. Snapshots can be saved to any disk formatted with a Linux file system. Saving snapshots to a non-system or external allows the system to be restored even if the system disk is in danger of being reformatted. So that's pretty nice. You get time shift right out of the box. Let's take a quick look at Fire Dragon, the web browser. Okay, right out of the box it pops up. It comes with Dark Reader pre-installed. Uh, so yes, this is a Firefox spin. Garuda Linux. Okay, so it does have, it looks as though this actually might be, it says Garuda Seer X. About. Is a meta search engine aggregating the results of other search engines while not storing information about its users. Okay, so. It comes with the Garuda Search Meta Search Engine. So you can see when I did my search here, it shows you right here they've got information from Google, Wikidata, Wikipedia, Wikidata, Google, Google. So and it's so I can go to 
Garuda Linux Home. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so this is the Garuda Linux website. It is a little laggy. I have to give it, it is a little laggy. But it may be that, uh, let's look and see how much system is being used. Oh yeah, look at that guys. I'm using 1.8 gigabytes of the 2.9 I have assigned. Uh, so it's using almost two thirds of the assigned RAM. This one's kind of heavy. Um, but of course with all the flash that you have in the background and all the neon icons, I'm pretty sure that's gonna put a little bit of a load on your system. So, But that's what we're looking at right there. So let's look at some system info. system information so we're using plasma 5.22.4 KDE framework 584 kernel version 5.139 graphics platform x11 and there's my three AMD processors and of course my 2.9 gigabytes of RAM so it, it it's a little bit heavy on the RAM but I mean it is definitely a good-looking distro guys it's something that if uh, you like KDE, but you want something a little different, I think you're going to enjoy it. Let's see if there's anything running in the background. Okay, nothing other than your normal KDE files and removable auto, removable device auto mounter is not running because we don't have USB support inside our virtual machine. So, guys, that's just a quick look at Garuda. Uh, it's definitely a beautiful distro. If you want something other than your Manjaro or or something like that, this is definitely one to give a spin. It is definitely different. So I mean, you've got the neon colors, you got the great wallpapers. Uh, it's definitely something you put on a laptop and you open it in front of somebody. They're gonna go, "What in the world are you running?" So it's definitely an attention getter. It's built on KDE. Um, Garuda Dragonized. Take a look at it. Just want to remind you. Make sure to like and subscribe so you can be entered for the contest that's ending on August 31st, 2021 for the Asus ZenBook 14 giveaway. And appreciate you watching the video, and I will see you in the next video.